And roll again. And we'll put that in the hundreds. Do we have anything in the hundreds? No. No. So what do you think would be there? Zero. Zero. Excellent. So where would be the best place to put a zero, do you think? I want you to show me a positive number. So we've got the positives up here and we've got the negatives there. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I couldn't imagine going back to a one-size-fits-all textbook. It was almost impossible to figure out who needed specific help on particular concepts. Getting targeted group instruction can be difficult to begin with. Today we had a look at integers and balancing out numbers and then sit down the students and then have an activity that really focuses on balancing equations or balancing numbers and looking at positives and negatives. So it's really just looking at that concept deeply with deeper thinking and deeper learning. So do you understand how we're doing this one? Who wants to be the nominated person who tells you which column the number is going to go into? It's just a great approach to be able to cater to all those different levels. 13 point. Nine seven, good. Write that in words. A mini lesson is a targeted small group lesson centred around a particular key concept. Good morning everyone and today we are going to be um, running a mini lesson in here about decimal place value. Everyone else on the outside, you guys be working on your modules. So we set up the class in the horseshoe shape. If it was a mini lesson running at that time, then we would organise a small group of tables to be set up at the front. Students then face the outer of the classroom so that they are avoiding distractions. Just brainstorm, what do you know about decimals? I give them a small little task to do just to think about what we are doing, brainstorm some ideas about the topic, and then I'll go around and, and make sure that every other student in the class have got their books open, their computer open, and they are ready to be learning as well. Working with these small groups, they come up with fantastic different ideas that I thought, oh, never thought of that, that would work with this student or that would work with that student. Even though we've all just done this together, all of you have different explanations for your answers, which is awesome to see. And I think they really like to do work, but without it seeming like work. So they do different activities, which essentially they're learning, but they don't realise that they're learning while they're doing these activities. The data that I get from Maths Pathway is really comprehensive. What it's enabled me to do is plan mini lessons that are really going to cater for certain small groups of students because I know where they're at. I've got all of that in my back pocket, so to speak. Today I'm going to be working with Group 1. We still see, all of the time, prices online like this. So we have module lessons, we have tests, we have reflection, we have rich tasks and I think in the middle of that cycle of all these things that we have to do, mini lessons is a great way to get the students to sit down, really focus on a concept. If I do 100 times 10, I'm getting to 1000. There are so many aspects of this program that's really fantastic to get student engagement. When I first started off doing mini lessons, they weren't the best and then over time I got better at it and had a look at different structures, spoke to different teachers and thought, okay, that worked well for their class, maybe that will work well for my class. I sort of started doing mini lessons gradually to begin with. Probably more rich tasks to start off with, with a whole class. Students felt very anxious at the beginning of mini lessons when they were first introduced. Now, as soon as you say mini lesson day, they're all, me, 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 we want to be in it. On your whiteboard, what I want you to do is write down a positive number, any number. So the anxiety around that has completely changed and the kids actually really, really want to be involved in those mini lessons. Then Abby, it's your turn and you draw a card. You get a two and you have to work out where you're going to put the two. All right, going to play again. So my teacher practice has changed a lot. I feel that I have a better understanding of where my students are at in their understanding of mathematical concepts. And some algebra done, you're doing recurring decimals? Yeah. Nice work. I'm better able to direct my lessons to you know, customise to what, what they're ready for. A little bit confusing. I might just draw something for you that might help you with it. Can I use your piece of paper for a second? I think they're getting used to the fact that it's not a chance for me to say, okay, you don't know the work, you don't know the work. It's a chance for them to broaden their skills and understand the concepts a lot better. They experience so much happiness when they finally master that module that they may have had to try once or twice to finally overcome. Within the first month or two, I realised, wow, this is a fantastic program that can really, really broaden um, the perspective of students and really change the way that they perceive maths.